What's this all about? And here it comes. Let's listen in as he addresses the WWE Universe. Shh. One of the most popular superstars in the WWE, no question. Okay. Something told me we might hear from him. This is going to get interesting. Let's listen and see. Well, okay. One of the most popular superstars in the WWE, no question. There's a superstar who doesn't lack confidence. Message received, and I, for one, can't wait. That's about as good as it gets. And if that's any indication... And what a great way to start us off. One of the most electric, entertaining, and chaotic matches in all of WWE is next. Time for tables, ladders, and chairs. The championship is up for grabs. Coming up next, it's Paige against Nikki Bella. Time to make the championship dream come alive for one of these superstars.
following champion versus champion contest is a table, ladders, and chairs match. And it's for the Stampede Women's Championship. Introducing the challenger from Norwich, England, the Raw Women's Champion, Paige. Remember, guys, the title is on the line here in this one. And I don't remember the last time the champ was in this much jeopardy, Cole. Tonight might just be the night the title changes hands. How about you, Byron? Do you think the challenger has a legitimate chance here tonight? Of course I do, Michael. That's the beauty of the WWE. Any superstar can beat any other superstar on any given night. And introducing the champion from Scottsdale, Arizona, she is the Stampede Women's Champion, Nikki Bella. Corey, what do you think of the champ's chances here tonight? I love them. I'm not like everybody else, Cole. It seems like everybody's ready to write the champ's demise, but not me. Believe it or not, guys, some are saying that the champion comes into tonight's match as the underdog. I don't know if I'd go that far, Cole. Yes, the opposition looks steep, but this is the champ we're talking about. And the two-time Divas champion, Paige, hears the bell and is on the move. Whatever the outcome here tonight, this Brooklyn crowd is sure to be satisfied with this one. Look at Paige here. Moving up through the ranks in impressive fashion, we get to see Paige in the matchup once again. As the challenger, what does she need to do to win this thing? Well, there's a reason he's the challenger. If he was any good, he'd be the champ already. Look at Paige stalking her. And she hits the Hurricane Rana with amazing grace. gathering attention in a hurry. A concerned look on the face of the champ. She knows she's going to have to bring her A game if she wants to leave her gold intact here tonight. Her opponent clearly has a game plan here, and that's to incapacitate her to the point where she simply cannot climb the ladder. It's been an amazing match up to this point, guys, and from where I sit, any one of these women can win this thing. Avoids trouble there. She's in full control now. This can go a variety of different ways, Corey. And almost none of them are good. Whoa! Paige is rolling, so hi, the children. Look at Paige making her move. Paige turn! She is just so dominant. The number one contender continues to roll.
Inside the ring now. I guess she... Uh... Wow, look how quick. The challenge is starting to slow down a bit here. With the championship on the line, she'll have to find a way to fire back. She looked great coming out of the gates, guys, but somewhere along the lines, she started to falter for some reason. She's off on that one, Corey. You can say that again. Look out! Oh, what a kick! Game, set, match. This one is over. She, uh, all right. It's all about defense at this point in the match. You simply have to make sure nobody gets up that ladder other than you, period. These superstars still look fairly fresh to me, which means we may want to settle in. This one may go the long haul. The champion retains. The champion retains. Here is your winner, and still the Stampede Women's Champion, Nikki Bella. And the first match. Up next will be teams battling in a showdown for the ages. This is going to be huge. In a match I am sure we will not soon forget. Batting down the hatches, it's a tornado tag team match.
We're literally just seconds away from kicking off one of the most exciting matches in all of WWE, the ladder match. And tonight, the championship hangs high above the ring as these superstars will likely use every resource available to them to ensure they're the first one up that ladder. We're ready to go, folks. Time to get this one started. You know, I can't remember the last time I was this excited for a championship match. Whatever the outcome here tonight, this Brooklyn crowd is sure to be satisfied with this one. Now we have Kevin Nash on the attack. He's simply reminding him that he's here. The champ's on the defensive now. The Tornado Tag Team atmosphere appears to be getting the best of him here. Okay, guys, I wanted to talk a little bit about Scott Hall here. How do you see him getting it done here tonight? I've been in the same position before, so I know exactly what's going on inside that head. It's intense, nerve-wracking, and exciting all at once. And it's times like these where he just hopes he worked hard enough, long enough, to get the victory here. Momentum not on Eric Rowan's side. He's always ready for a fight and has seen his fair share of wars in WWE. This championship match is just another day at the office. Man, this is as one-sided an affair as you will ever see. If he goes on to lose this match, you have to expect it'll set him back quite a bit. What an offensive show by Kevin Nash. He delivers a crushing neckbreaker. Oh boy, he is rolling. Look, Eric Rowan is on the attack now. That slam put him in a bad way, guys. And Luke Harper's playing to the crowd when he should be handling his business. Look at this. He's going back to an old friend with that one. Kevin Nash appearing uneasy here. So many variables for him to take into account here in this Tornado Tag Match. It looks to me like he took his foot off the gas there for a moment. When that happens, you run the risk of letting your opponent back into the match. The quick reversal there by Eric Rowan. Connects with a counter. Ain't no stopping him now. Ill advised. Colossal boot. Here's his moment, Michael. Back suplex face buster. Got all of that one, that's for sure. That slam just brought this entire arena to its feet. Flips the script on him there. Look, Eric Rowan is on the attack now. He's flipped the switch, that's for sure. Eric Rowan has found an answer here. I can't even begin to imagine what's going through Eric Rowan's mind right now. His strikes have a little extra on them tonight. Back in the ring now. Kevin Ash reversing it. Incredible! I think we know what this is. Oh, choke slam. Just when you thought he had nothing left. 
There may be no coming back from that slam, Cole. Showing very few signs of life here. Yeah, there's no way he comes back from this. Might as well ring the bell now. Here's Rowan. The face is absorbing a lot of damage here. This might be the end of the road for him, Byron. Well, if he can't get back to his feet, you're absolutely right. Kevin Ash is looking for the decisive end. Jackknife. That should do it. What a slam, Michael. And it's reversed. Going to be tough for him to fight back from this. Well, the first thing he needs to do is get back to his feet, which is clearly easier said than done. Oh, and a discus clothesline! Took his head off. Eric Rowan wins. Eric Rowan gets it done, folks. Another exciting. Coming up next right here is the match where you can expect the unexpected. We have Dean Ambrose versus Samoa Joe. The pot of gold is not at the end of a rainbow. It's at the top of a ladder. Let's do it. contest is a ladder match and is for the Intercontinental Championship. <laughs> Introducing the challenger from Huntington Beach, California, Weighing in at 282 pounds, Samoa Joe. Ladies and gentlemen, the title will be hanging high above the ring here tonight in what promises to be an incredible ladder match. As we've seen in the past, the ladder will likely become more than just a set of steps used to reach the championship. There's a good chance we'll see it used as a weapon as well. And it's worth noting that he's ranked number three overall. Yeah, it's also worth noting that these rankings are flat out ridiculous. I mean, come on, number three? How's this guy not the number one contender by now?
Byron, this should be an Intercontinental Championship match we will not soon forget. I don't disagree, Michael, especially considering the participants involved here tonight. This one should be incredible. And guys, is it possible that tonight is the night we crown a new champion? Anything's possible. Okay, guys, we're ready to get this one underway. I fully anticipate this Intercontinental Championship match living up to the rich legacy this title has built for itself over the years. Whatever the outcome here tonight, this Brooklyn crowd is sure to be satisfied with this one. Dean Ambrose is a force within the ring. Let's take a moment to talk about Dean Ambrose. What do you feel the champ needs to watch out for in there? I don't know if either one has ever competed in a match of this magnitude. So much is at stake with that gold hanging high above the ring. All I can say is he definitely looks the part, and sometimes that helps, believe it or not. There he goes, crashing to the floor. The Lunatic Fringe is one of the toughest, most unpredictable superstars in sports entertainment today. Maybe even ever. Ambrose will do whatever is necessary to pick up the win. Nice job by Samoa Joe. The challenger is taking on some offense, but he certainly comes into this championship match with a ton of momentum. With so much on the line here in this ladder match, he has no choice but to find a way to overcome this attack, guys. There's an excitement and chaos that follows Dean Ambrose wherever he goes. The lunatic fringe will pull out all the stops to make sure he leaves that ring victorious. One of the things that makes the lunatic fringe so unpredictable is he can brawl. He can take it to the air, and he can go hold for hold with an opponent. Ambrose starting to struggle now. Many see him as one of the greatest champions of this era. Tonight is his chance to prove it. I know it's somewhat early still, but this could be a pivotal point in this match, guys. Let's see how he reacts here. I'm not sure how long this will last, but he's fired up right now. Leg is hooked. Here we go. Perfect play. He's in the driver's seat now. He's taking a long time to get up, guys. Perhaps playing a little possum here, Cole. Here's the setup. Up, up, and away. He's got the gold in his hands. Got to pick it up here. Just swinging on his opponent. Ladders are always a health hazard in the workplace, guys. And it's Dean Ambrose able to break free. Here comes Ambrose. He doesn't care how high up the ground he is. He's taking it right to him. Like walking a tightrope, but more dangerous. Comes up big with a reversal. Samoa Joe. He's just as dangerous on that ladder as he is on the mat. Not sure this was the best idea, but it makes for some dramatics, that's for sure. Not where he wants to be right now. Yeah, you're not going to win many matches when you're down. We've got a climber. Slip from the grasp. He, hmm, a vicious attack on top of the ladder. Hope they're not afraid of heights. It seems clearing the ladder is more important to him at this point. Not a great move. He's not looking good here, Byron. No, he's got to get up, and he's got to get up now. New 
champion. We just witnessed what many felt was impossible. Here's your winner and the new Intercontinental Champion, Samoa Joe.